Alright, we gotta do Hungry Ghost number four before we get to the heavy hitters, which are Infidel and X-Men Red. Now, I kind of forgot I put this on my pull list, and the comic shop forgot to give this to me, and I think it came out like a month ago. And I think that's gonna be pretty indicative of the entire comic as a whole. The series as a whole, just... Uh, pretty damn unforgettable. The best issue out of the four was the last issue, and that's only because it was fucking hilarious, because both stories were about asses. Let's get into it. Anthony Bourdain? Oh, Anthony? And it's like, I don't even think he wrote any of these. It's just... Ideas were presented to him, and he said yes, so... I don't know, I just, I'm put off of him for a while. Like, I don't think... How could you have written something like this? It's just, how could you have let your name be involved in something so banal when you're such an interesting guy? Alright, let's get into it. First story is Snow Woman, so we gotta... I gotta tell you, this video is gonna be really fucking quick. We've got a father and a son. They're walking around, hunting, and it's snowing, and of course, they get lost, and then they find an empty cabin. Man, you never want to get lost in the Japanese wilderness, because no beds. No fucking bed. Just, I mean, I've slept on plenty of floors. Let's well, you know what type of human being I am, but I can do it. But normal people, they can't do it. So, they're in there, and the guy sees this ghost lady sucking the life out of his father, which is not as nearly as sexy as it sounds, and she looks like this. And I realize that there are certain types of guy that this is, this is the look. So she does that to the father. And even though the son realizes that his father's just been murdered, he's like, hey, I can, I can respect that you're a fine looking snow woman. Snow woman is what it is called. I keep thinking of her as a ghost, but she's made out of snow, which is worse. So her name is Yuki, Yuki Anna. And she's like, hey, I was going to kill you, but <laughs> you're you're such a pretty boy. And he's like, y you can tell by his nose, he's like, I'm kind of freezing to death and just witnessed my father getting murdered, but <laughs> oh my god, I don't take compliments too well. So they have sex with each other, but she says, if you ever speak of this, about this night, what you've seen, what I have done, I will return and then you will see what have, see what others have seen. Do not forget this, and she leaves. This is... Okay, two things about this. Number one, she's a snow woman. And it reminds me of this movie that was on Netflix. I don't know if it's on Netflix anymore. But it's called, like, All Cheerleaders Must Die. It's like a really campy B-movie from a couple years ago. And it's pretty ridiculous and silly and stupid. But I enjoyed watching it because it was dumb. And these girls are dead, right? And they turn into, like, sex fiends. And this one girl finally has sex with her boyfriend. And afterwards, her boyfriend goes to his friend. And he says, dude, I finally had sex. Why didn't you tell me, man? It was, like, it's so cold. Why didn't you tell me? Vaginas are just, like, so cold, man. God. And his friend is just, like... The hell? I'm just cause, I mean, because he basically had sex with uh, a corpse, live on um, undead corpse. But it makes me think, like, how do you have sex with a snow woman? How is this enjoyable whatsoever? And then, of course, I gotta skip a couple pages. You're fine. The next day, he meets a beautiful woman. They he gives her a job. Bing, bang, boom. Kids start happening. But then one day, he tells his wife about the snow woman encounter, and guess what? Boom! She was a snow woman the whole time. And you know what? That reminds me of another movie called Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. That's the whole title. Now, I'm pretty sure all the stories in this series are based off of real f legends or real food legends or... I mean, what the hell does this have to do with food? Oh, because they were, got lost hunting? Okay, whatever. Joel Rose. Whatever. But in... So it could be based off the same, like, t folk tale or something. But in Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, which, that's quite a mouthful. Um, not as much as a mouthful as a snow titty, but pretty damn close. So, in that movie, a guy sees a demon do a murder or something, and the demon's like, hey, 
I'm gonna let you go because you're also pretty damn cute. But if you tell anybody about what you saw, I'm gonna come back and it's not gonna be good for anybody. Uh, capiche? That's a literal line move. Capiche, don't go watch it. Just take my word for it. I'm a very honest human being. And then he meets a woman and they have kids and it's like 20 years later and then he was like, you know what's weird? I saw a demon kill a guy or something and then turns out she was the demon the whole time. It's... I like that movie, I think. I think, but that, that, that's what it is. I, it's pretty fucking weak. Um, like this video if you would have sex with a snow woman. Like this video if you would only have sex with a Japanese snow woman. While wearing a fedora. And then the next story is supposedly the most hardcore because the, the whole setting for this series is there are a bunch of chefs who are engaging in this sort of Japanese game where they tell stories. It's like 99, what is it called? It's called This Long Ass Title of 100, and they tell stories till 100 candles go out or something, but nobody ever makes the 100 because they're too spooky. Literally none of these stories have been spooky at all. They've just been kind of silly and like, oh, well, yeah. Like, literally the first one I think was the the best one because it was a commentary about how people are hungry and homeless and the majority of people say, well, I'd love to give you some food, but I need money. Instead of being, being a humanitarian. I mean, I don't give change to people. So, I mean, I can't even give shit about that. And then the... The hungry guy turns into a giant skeleton. That's the best one. But the silliest ones are in the previous issue that I made a video about. Okay, so this one's Cowhead. And it cuts back to the scene. And he's telling him, like, I have been chosen to tell the spookiest story. And this guy's like, how bad can it be? You don't know me well, my friend. I have seen things and done things in my life. Oh, that's, that's good to know. In my country of Russia, they're... That would make your blood run cold. I don't know why, but everything's spookier in Russia. He could just literally be talking about doing the dishes, and it's like, oh, that's not a big deal, but if I said, I've done dishes in Russia, I'd be like, oh, Jesus. That's fucking hardcore. So we see that there's this village of people, and they don't have anything to eat, and it starts off by saying they eat all the chickens, which... I guess, but then it folds it up with, they eat all the ducks. Now, I don't eat chicken or duck. But I gotta say, chickens at least make eggs. Ducks, they don't do jack shit. I, well, you know what? I, for, I just remembered you can't eat duck eggs. I guess, are those the tastier of the eggs? I don't know. I feel like chickens are more versatile. But whatever. They kill both of them, so it doesn't matter. They eat their pets. They eat rats. They eat koi fish, which, like... If you know anything, that it's that koi or just garbage fish that are purely for fountains and um, tattoos for people who think... Tattoos for people who watched a lot of Miami Ink. I gotta tell you, thank God I was a little bit younger when that came out. Because if I would have seen Miami Ink when I was capable of getting a tattoo, good God, I would be covered in all sorts of koi fish and peony flowers, and lotuses, and all sorts of garbage, and I would hate myself. I'd probably just straight up skin myself. Or do what uh, the basis from Rage Against the Machine does, and just completely black out, like, all the space covered in that. Oh, I'd have so much kanji, and, oh god. I shudder to think. So eventually, they eat everything, they start eating people, because of course, I mean, I think eventually we all have that desire to Engage in a little bit of light cannibalism. And this this silhouette shows up and it's like, oh, oh man. Who is this person? And we see this, this beefcake. Ooh, that actually works out. I come in peace. Which is obviously, literally the worst thing you could ever say to a group of anything. Because that, look, I'm going to say this. Hey, my name is Lindsay. I come in peace. What do you want to do to me? You want to rape, murder, and just eat me right there? I don't know why, but I come in peace. Uh-uh. Mm-mm! Have you seen Mars Attacks? That shit does not play. So eventually they just start eating the shit out of them. 
just seeing this, like this panel, they're just slurping on his skull and he's making slurp noises, but it just kind of looks like, based on the perspective, it kind of looks like this guy's slurping this guy's shoulder. I mean, I mean, everybody's engaging in this gorging orgy. Gorging orgy. That's a band name. You can have that. So you know what? You might get a little, sh your shoulder bitten or whatever. That You take those risks when you're eating this cow head. And then of course, it starts eating them up inside and they all burst out and we have this sort of it's, it's trying to look like classical Japanese imagery, you know, and it isn't, but it all, I get what it's trying to do, and then it's revealed that he's also spooky. And I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but I fucking hate Cyclopses, they're dirty, and then that's it. Wow, what a great series. Anthony, why did you put your name on this? What the fuck?